Dennis has sponsored a team of volcanologists, that's volcano scientists to you and me, to do some experiment in inside Mount Boom. Anyways, something's gone wrong and they're trapped inside. Get over there and help them out. Are you, you kidding? Go. It's a freaking volcano. That, 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 that's 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 quitters talk, James. We got to dive right into that volcano. It's like well, at least get some protective gear on first. You're right. Yeah, we do need to get that sorted. Yeah, it's like we now return you to your regularly scheduled let's play. <laughs> yes. Also, it's the same going, mission, it, also so if it's the same mission, I'm thinking that that one can go second. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's where we have to use the cool, it's where we need to use the, uh, the, the blue, uh, you know, coolant bunge, the, the coolant, coolant bunyip mech, and it sucks because it's very slow and they ask you to do a lot of platforming if you mess up. There's like a very specific the array of platforms that you have to go through, and that's very confusing, for lack of a better word. Yep, we're going to have to deal with that mission today, but in any case, uh, welcome back everybody, how you going? Welcome to Tie 2 Bush Rescue, uh, the HD re-release. Uh, re me remaster whatever uh first thing i'm doing is actually i completely forgot about this um i thought when it, previously i said a number of things wrong in that last session about those chrome tokens the big silver thingies with the dot in the middle mm -hmm. uh those were introduced in this game i apologize mm -hmm. and they're actually oh, used in this little shack in mama mo pokes little uh hut thingy Okay, it's a trailer. Yeah, of course it'd be in the freaking trailer. And I am the mystical metamorphic, and I see all. Cross my palm with chromium orbs, and I will tell you what you need to know. Only problem is, you only have one, and she she asks for a hefty price for her wares. Yep. Uh, these will uh, the, for basically uh, there. This map will you can buy one of three maps. One will show you where all of Gubu Steve, it, where all of his little hidey holes are. That's probably the most like profitable one to buy from her right away because you know again he gives you a good amount of money I every time you find him. Uh, you cogs will tell you where all the platinum cogs are. Ass. And uh, missing persons, I believe. I, f I forget what the reward is for this, but you can find uh, you can actually find bilbies again. Uh, but they're a lot more deviously hidden. Some in the overworld, some in missions. Uh, so uh, I'll keep an eye out, but again, not really, not really on my priorities list. Though that being said, mm. something you should make a priority right now is to head back to the rank shop because you've got some hard-earned opals that you could probably spend on an X-ray ring. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's take care Good of that, day, son. Let me know if you know I can get the infrarang, and that's right, the X-ring is its upgraded form, so infrarang it is. Yeah. Basically with this, when, when you go into a tie, tie view mode, you pretty much can, it pretty much activates the X-ray. Otherwise, it does act like you're, like a pretty standard uh, boomerang. Yep. And, uh, I'm trying to see... Now we can do that control. mission involving, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the local riffraff. Hi, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we, again, we accepted it from him, and, and some of them notice all these koalas in the construction gear. All right, Let's now, see. time to find that spy hidden in the ranks. Oh, hang on. Yep, yeah, yeah, you saw him. He's way over there. I forgot how to zoom in in time. I don't think I can do that I don't that think yet. you can zoom in. Oh, right, oh, yeah, oh there okay, he is. You can do it. You can do it. There's there, the, there he is. There's okay. the sneaking so. koala's fur. Yeah, it's a little frill thingy that is... Uh, that that it, it's a little it's a little frill that's trying to hide him with the rest of them. And the minute he realizes that you're on to him, there you are. Whack him. Oh. The funny thing and, is that uh, you can yeah. actually. The funny thing is that you once once you get out of ties, you you'll immediately already be like in his frill form, basically getting ready to oh, fight yeah, you. Yeah. So at that point, just give him a whack. Uh, I, you can talk to the police guy now. He'll uh, give you your consider that a completion. Oh oh okay because I know I'm sure I know. He will anyway. I believe so because I know that that'll just be the start of our quest. Is we'll be whenever we see a bunch of those anywhere else in the world, keep an eye out for them. But uh, good work, yeah. mate. You cool. caught the spy red-handed. Yeah. You'll be taking this fellow in for questioning. Uh, I assuming he's still alive. Inside info on what Cass has been up to. Oh, you already killed him. Well, no, nothing, nothing for it then. Wait oh, a minute. Wow, they give me a lot of wait, rules. Wait a minute. You're saying that you killed probably the only Lee. You killed probably the only Lee we have on Boss Cass. That sounds quite peculiar. I mean, damn, when you put it like Gee. that, I feel a little bad. Mike's you a little bit of a suspect now, eh? In Makes fact, I'd sussy. say it's... Never mind. Oh, I'm Aww. sorry. 
Hold on, is is that the right term? I gotta look up these Australian slang terms. Excuse oh, me. No, the term, the the joke was I was trying to use pretty much every synonym for those two words except for those two words. I know you oh. hate it. Oh look, it's Dennis's nephew. Yikes. I believe he I makes his like debut nephew. in this game. Told me. Yep, yep. Sorry, mate. Hey, you're Dennis's and he's nephew, a nephew aren't you? Why, yes, I am. People call me Clarence. So, what are you doing? Between his voice, but I'll admit, James, between his voice and his appearance, I almost would not be surprised to see a character like this in Conquer. Oh, totally. Or hell, Gex. <laughs> I guess so. Which funny, which fun fact, there was a Gex for being considered, and at some point, they were considering giving Gex, uh, like a, uh, son figure. Well, uh, Makes sense. Go the old Donald Duck. Whoa. Oh. That's a bad that word. I was about to say, like, I thought the, oh, I thought the, physics, I thought the, I thought the pitch was giving him like a niece and nephew. Uh, or, or it could be that, or it could be that, for all I know. Anyway, so uh, amongst oh, these ghosts, some is another among another of those grillish tra traitors, swines, and now we need to be careful because right, because I'll say right now, we gotta be careful because right now the ghosts are a little hostile because of the uh, because of the imposter. Hang on, I think there he is. There he is. Uh -huh. After I gotta hurry over there. Yep. Oh. Now again, this would be a lot easier if I was in X-ring mode because I wouldn't have to worry about you know going into Ty's view every time. Right. I mean, Grant. I mean, mind you, it is technically a uh, upgrade. So there you go. Give him one more, give him what for? Pop him. There we go. And done. Now the ghosts can spook and spook freely and and calmly. Yep. Yep. Let me just knock these guys out. Oh, hang on. Were you a boo? Were you a boo him? No. No. Uh, there's only him. one. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. Oh, there, oh there's more? Oh no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, I see. It also highlights uh, bundles of currency for you. Uh, Hi, Dennis's nephew. Dennis's nephew? Where did he go? Oh, oh, there he is. Oh. You are a spookum. But, uh, oh, he's friends with yeah, spookum, no. so he'll be fine. Yep, and they're no longer hostile towards me. I don't know. Yeah, the fact it. that I don't know. The fact they traveled from there to there so quickly without us noticing, it seems a bit out of sorts. Mm, a bit or not on the up and up. Never say that again. <laughs> That's a Yu-Gi-Oh joke and you know it. Sorry. Even Ty's like, really? I'm not I don't even watch Yu-Gi-Oh and I'm disgusted. So I guess while we're still here in Burramudgee, I mean, yeah, we can grab whatever opals we, that are still within our way. We helped out Dennis's nephew. Why don't we help out Dennis himself? Because he does have a mission for us at the ready. Uh, mind you that all of these missions I'm doing are now completely optional. If, if, if the star is not colored in, uh, it means one of two things. Either A, it's not currently tracked on your website. Day, I thought I killed you last time, old man. And second, wait, hang on, what the hell is this? Huh? Oh, look, Charlie Reese, born 4-23-2004. Ripper! Aww. Who's that? I, is uh, that a production. Kickstarter? It's a, no, it's a production baby. Oh. A production, oh, production baby? Oh. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, no, I, I'll say right now, James. That, uh, sorry, sorry, James. Uh, Matt, uh, hi, <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Logan, how many times have we had this conversation? <laughs> how many times do you? How how white do you think we are? And you, I mean, I'm probably the white, whitest prick among us. So I mean, he's not entirely wrong. Oh, man. dude, listen Whoop. to me. Have you seen my skin? I'm as pale as a ghost. You burn. I like to think of it. I, I'd sunburn, like to. Sunburn. I like to. I like to describe it more as like fair alabaster. But if you want to say pale, then fine. Alabaster. <laughs> <laughs> it right. also doesn't right. help that I have vitiligo. But that's another story. Ranger Kim, what's up? Good eye, Kim. What you doing? Oh, I'm helping out Julius, mate. Uh huh. Apparently, that spy you caught was. Ah, here we go. Ah, uh, round two. That's right, mate. Fetic. Looks like there's a <laughs> whole yeah, mob of cases groaning in the disguise of Tron. Curses. Struth. Struth. They could be anywhere, mate. Not just in town, but all so, over there the There you go. Rivers. So now this has oh, opened up. Every every time I see, out all the am I gonna complete this quest? It. Hell no. It's no it's a, worries, you got you got you got to start turning up every single stone. But uh, effectively, yes. Now from now on, whenever you see a bunch of uh, whenever you see a bunch of uh, construction workers like this, uh, keep an eye out. Scan them. Aha. Bingo. Also, I just find it. Uh, just, I don't think I talked about it much, but just comparing the models between like a lot of the games, like Ty himself looks for the most part unchanged, but looking back at our friend there, it's funny comparing the two models because in the first game, like the sides of his mouth, it's like he was like in a semi-permanent grimace, you know, he's like, rah, rah, rah. whereas in that one, like his mouth is just like so minuscule, it's more like he's talking like, yeah, pretty much like. 
I'll say for what it's worth, like, at least with Ty and, Ty and his family, what anyway, the it's de they've definitely seen an improvement since the. Oh, jeez, uh, traffic's backed up. Uh, this should not happen in game. <laughs> What's causing this? What has backup? caused this? Hello, if, Ty. Uh, is it just the stoplight? Uh, Hello, might be. Ty. I don't know. Well, it, it doesn't really matter. I'd say we should go ahead and uh, keep on moving. Yeah, you say yeah, Hello, that. Ty. Yeah, that that is a glitch. That is not supposed to happen in their AI. Uh, let's, it's, you I'm know, it's still it's still funny though. Let me know if you need. Yeah, uh, how about this? Uh, should I get the frosty ring or the flamer ring? Uh, I, I say think... frosty ring. I'd say frosty. I don't see any practicality to using the frame flamer ring right now. Okay, I want frosty a frosty. Can you give me a Good frosty? Buy some. Not for that price. Yeah. Actually, you know what I want instead of a frosty? I want a blizzard. Hmm. Ooh, I like a blizzard. Hello. Oh, by the Reese's way. Blizzard. Hello, oh, Ty. Yeah. The term for, you know, suspicious in Aussie is actually dodgy. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, how do I... Now, how do I swap... Now, is this, is this also a glitch, or is that car supposed to be wrecked like that? It might be... Oh, that's, what, oh, oh, that, oh that's supposed to be wrecked because of the fans and the construction workers. That should, it should um, be the shoulder button. Or one of the shoulder buttons. It, it was ZR, uh, right? Or how about X? Or ZL, I mean. It's X, it's X. Yeah, look at all the rings we can get now, because effectively what you're going to be doing is this this menu, it's kind of interesting how they do it, is uh, not only can you select uh, each of the normal rings, but later on you can find Sly, a, he has a shop in the overworld, where the minute you bought, the minute you've bought one, excuse me, one of these normal rings, you can then buy its upgraded variant, and it's not a wholesale replacement, you can just swap between the two at any time if you want. Uh, I don't know why you would, because, you know, one is clearly better than the other. Like, I would love to try and get the multi-rang, which is the best, you know, which is the upgrade to the boomerang. Uh, but for now, um, yeah, stick to this. And, uh, anyway, uh, on, on we go. So, it's time we finally get a move on. Yeah. But, otherwise, uh, Will, uh, every uh, yeah, I was about to, I was about to go into a thing, like, how's everyone doing? But it's like, yeah, no, it's been a little rough. Uh, yeah. yeah. In the, past few days in, have in been the a little, uh. Yeah, no, this week has pretty much just been like, let's shit on artists for a week and then let it affect them for the rest of their fucking lives. Yeah, clip bet between Celsius, aka Clip Studios' parents, and, um... At the HBO very least, Max. I mean, I'll at least HBO say Max. for Clip for for Clip Studio and all that stuff, it's like, it's not, it's a, the whole thing regarding that isn't quite as, um, let's just say that the whole, the, right, it's a little, bl the whole... Hate behind what they what they've been doing is a little has been pretty fucking overblown, but I do definitely right. agree that it's definitely not the right the right choice that they like it's definitely the worst kind of um. Let's just say they could have handled What's it better man? for sure. Absolutely. Oh, one hundred percent, and and they are one hundred percent reaping what they well, sowed. Basically, the long and the short of it is that they're they're basically doing this whole thing now where like for version two, like you can tech, you can still buy the like the second version of Clip Studio Paint like by itself. But any like mi like really big updates that can be applied to it will not will only be available through a subscription service. In which case, if you really want them that badly but don't want to follow that model, you'll have to wait for an eventual third version of Split Studio Paint. Which you know that's pretty much no different than how the likes of um, Photoshop or any of those other types of um, art programs from like way back when. That's how they used to do their model, and I guess it's really right. no different here. It's just that with the original Clip Studio Paint, we kind of got spoiled in a way. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 I, I will say that personally, I don't think I'm going to buy Clip Studio 2 because... I, I, I don't see the need to right now either. I, I I probably will get Clip Studio 3 since by then Clip Studio 1 will no longer have support. Um, and it would be nice if there's bugs and things. I, I, I just find a bummer that you basically... Mm -hmm. So I guess the way that, the way they're putting it, by the way, we're going up to the treetop now. Oh, I, guess cool. the be I, guess, I guess the best way to put it is that the way they have it set up is... If you're like me, who prefers to just buy a software and you own it, yeah. um, nothing nothing as far as the software you're currently using will change. And that's yeah. for the better and worst, is that it will not change. And effectively, you need to wait longer but in between updates because you will not be able to update for every decimal, like 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. 2 you can only update between the whole numbers if you do that. Uh, if, you, if you want those... If you want those uh, more minor updates, that's when you now have to pay a, a subscription service. Which, you know, not a, a good majority of uh, CSP users are not too, you know, kosher about that. Well, that's what it was like. It was almost like that was the reason why they opted to go with Clip Studio in the first like the, place. Like, yeah. what, what, what we originally got out of it is that it sounded like 
basically any future updates for Clip Studio Paint were primarily going to be through, it, like, it's exclusive to the subscription service, which thankfully is not the case, but it's definitely going to be one of those matters where if you really want those updates that badly, you might be waiting a while. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 I'm, I'm curious. There we go. Get some more shortcuts going. I'm actually doing pretty well this level. This level can be a bit of a pain if you're uh, a oh. little rough with your uh, tie platforming. I mean, um, we're literally playing in a jungle gym right now. Yep, yeah. and every time you get to these, you unlock a shortcut ladder. And if, you're for the, um, and if you fear and if you fear the fall, don't worry too much about it. There's a whole net down there to uh, ca catch you, but you'll still yep. get hurt from the fall damage unless you glide. Also, right. don't forget you can glide glide on the rails. Uh oh. And I see that to totally, shortcut ladder. Totally so back safe. I go. Well, back I go. Uh, pretty decent net physics, actually. Holy crap! Wow. Yeah. Uh, anywho, yeah, I gotta go back. Uh, whoa. Uh, I guess I'll say, uh, whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Net uh -oh. physics. Thankfully, uh, you'll never be—you'll you never have to worry about you know snap like snapping something and literally going like phasing through all that. Nope, that'll be and that'll be for Pac-Man World One to do for you, James. Or I'm thinking World Two that had the Treetop Village. Uh, Treetop Village was uh, no, that was World Two. Okay, well, yeah, World sorry. Two, because I was about to say like even if it wasn't World One, to be fair, we don't know if that's going to be fixed or not and repacked. Well, repa well, the we'll thing about pack right. about repack at the given moment, you know, as of this recording. <laughs> Is that okay. yeah no it's it's pretty much remaking the game from the ground up which you know that's very much appreciated. The only yes. thing I'll definitely notice I'll definitely note regarding that game at the given moment is that um so it's been sort of like this whole uncertainty where like how are they going to handle the sound oh oh boy <laughs> got him <laughs> and there I goes his, and there goes his double but um basically how the, there was like this sort of like uncertainty of how they were going to handle the soundtrack because for those that don't already know uh pac-man world one had a soundtrack that well half of it was, C was cd audio and the other half and a good other majority of it was uh well it had to be compressed for playstation sake right yes. um oh, now yes. for the for repack i was the, well the thought was lingering with me anyway if they were gonna ba basically you know keep the soundtrack intact or if they were going to actually include like the lossless slash clean rips or like audio like red book right. audio of like those tracks that were originally compressed right right what kind, they, kind of similar what, to how but, like with medieval we got the lossless audio clips of voice acting yeah and no, i mean that was still very very impressive but uh that being yes. said Sorry, for repack um they've been doing the they've actually been having these trailers recently where they were comparing how levels oh. looked in oh whoa well, <laughs> what was that? Like, I, I, I gotta love catch that. He's just, just like, just like devil, damn it! Oh, got my boomerang. Oh come no, on! No, no, oh, come on, hi. He's a total voice cat. He wouldn't swear. Yeah, no, but for me, I love that it looked like he was like, nah, still got it. But, <laughs> but I just oh, still like that. Just that sudden arm jerk thing. It looks like he was just like pounding the ground like a kid. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're still good. We're still good. Yeah, Checkpoints are very nice. But yeah, uh, yeah, but going, yeah, no. So, but going so back they to went. Point, uh, recent trailers have been showing like comparisons between how the game looks in the original and how it will look with with repack. And mm -hmm. yes, with the set, with the uh, last two videos comparing like the latter half of the game. Uh, basically, what they're going to do is that they are actually going to remake some of those tracks, but they're also keeping true to how compressed they sounded in the original game. Which right, is they want to go for weird, the kind of a sound. weird choice. Not going to lie. That is right. a very weird choice. So they're going with the oh boy, they're going with the authentic sound to a T, with all of the uh, with all with all of the nicks and scratches you remember. And unfortunately, I will agree with James that especially with say Spooky Garden, the, it, to the point where between their reinstrument reinstrumentalization, and uh, and how they're trying to simulate CD compression, unfortunately they almost start sounding a little bit bleaker. I'm just, what's I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering what's even the point. Oh, hello. You oh, you're I'm now. trying to face my fears. How's you it look going? Like, you look like some, 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 you look like something ripped right out of an Ardman animation. Of I was about to yeah. say yeah. Wallace and Gromit, yeah. Or, or Sean the Sheep. I I well, the same fears, studio. I could overcome them. Well, I mean, Sean, uh -huh. I mean, granted, yes, but he you, you are dealing with the go here. Or no, no, that ram. I'll help you down. Thanks, Ty. I mean, you're right I by the I'll exit. Work on my fear of heights at home. Actually, you start little. Start Actually, those eyes again makes me, makes me think he's a lemming. The Pippi Beach <laughs> Nippers are having a surf <laughs> carnival today, Ty. But they forgot <gasps> oh, their sunscreen. Oh, oh they're, they're, they're going to burn up just like Jordy. Ready to go. Excuse you? Well, you were the one that brought up that you had very sunscreen. fair skin. Pale skin. Oh, Therefore, oh, right, if you right, get into the sun, you'll burn up. I forgot. That's right. I mean, I'm assuming you don't tan. 
Not very well. I need a lot of sunscreen. That then we fair. need to get you a lot of sunscreen. Literally, you gotta have her literally swimming in the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just give me a giant three liter bottle of uh, copper tone and we're good. Uh, so check our, check our uh, list of missions at the given moment. Oh, uh, that would be uh, Volcano. I may as well get this out of the way. You really want to do that one now? Uh, I guess Just it is, get it it out is, the way. It is there. It, you do have the uh, bunyip, right? Yep, purchased that, the, purchased that at the start Whoa. of the last session. And okay. uh, again, I... <laughs> Coming through! Uh, um, uh, uh, there's an invisible wall that protects him. Man. You tell the other frills what you saw. <laughs> you win this day, you uh, naughty little man. frill. Hey, it's a Dennis. dreadful tie. Uh -huh. I sponsored a team of scientists to explore Mount Boom. Why do they call so it Mount Boom? Boom? Never you mind. Trapped inside <laughs> Pit two volcano. and two together, genius. I, so I mean, it would be, I mean, wouldn't be so bad if you know, we're you them? Oh, no, no. You patronize them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ty's a little I'm confused. I uh, mean, I, uh, it's shit like that I do appreciate in this game's writing. I am sure still very curious to learn. I'm very well, curious to. Dennis, I'm very I'll curious to see Ty Three's writing if they if they do go ahead with uh with revamping it. I don't think I I doubt they was it, they revamped it by much considering I think it came out literally a year after Bush Rescue. Well, no, no. I meant sorry. I meant like if they decide to re if they decide to remake it. Same with Ty One and Ty Two. Oh, uh, okay. I would be very well, I, interested in I, seeing I, how that is. Here we go, Mount Boom. So, so welcome to Mount Boom, and uh, basically know that uh, lava uh, still really bad. I uh, can't do much with that. Hang on a minute. Just to be safe. Hey, Bill. Yeah. How well you know Jeff over here? Oh, Jeff and I have been going to college for three years. I can't. Uh, oh my God! We were twenty-three nineteen. Jeff. You were my best man at my wedding. How could you lie to me? Jeff, I was going to ask you out to the prom. Please, gag me with a spoon. Jesus. <laughs> you, you're not, not my type. I'll just say that much. Uh, please, okay, before I look crazy, has does anyone know what I'm even talking about anymore? No. Nope. Uh, Bill, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy when uh, there was this one episode where Billy joined the FBI or something like that mm -hmm. and it turned out that he had he had busted up a oh yeah the, 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 the bunny so basically oh, yeah, the bunny. Uh, this, is, this is basically your clue because otherwise this did confuse me as, as a child at first the clue is that effectively you this thing cannot it does not have good jumps so the whole mission is going to be us transporting this thing by uh where'd, where'd it, it go where, where there is it, it is. okay, okay. Oh. Wow, okay, no, so no screen time oh, for oh, you, buddy, starting, buddy. Starting to, there you go. Right. And it has tank control, so make sure also, you're I love the, I also love the fucking I don't give a shit look that Ty has when he's inside this thing. Yep, and there you go. That's how that's how you can uh, douse fires. Uh, the water is also like flood water, so it's like hyper-powered. It can like damage enemies. Uh, or they can just kill themselves like that. That's good. <laughs> um, <Idiots. laughs> or, uh, in any case. Mario. Um, anyway. So 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 Billy uh, at one point joined the uh, the FBI and ended up busting like a big like it wasn't like a drug ring because it was it was a children's show but it was definitely like some crazy activity going on and it turned out that all it was like the in the entire time you're led up to believe that he's gonna bust some like actual crime ring that Mandy may be involved with but instead it turns out that it's instead it turns out to just be like a knitting circle that Irwin is running. Oh, um, it's like run, girls. The cover's blown, and then and then and then immediately Billy busts him like, so Irwin, aka Billy the Knife, aka aka uh, Jimmy Two Hands McGee, aka Debbie. Hmm. Looks like the kick is up. How did you find me, yo? We had a girl on the inside, and it just is. It's just a clear buff. Like it, it's it, it then a oh nice shortcut. It then clearly becomes a buff FBI agent wearing pigtails with the sunglasses and everything. And then he's like, D -d "Nancy, I was gonna ask you to prom." Oh, gag me with a spoon, as if I never go out with you. Okay, oh, no. like I, I figured okay. that was the case. Okay. okay, okay. Like I figured that might have been the case. I just assumed you were being witty because, like as Matt mentioned, you're probably by default one of the funny. I no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay, well, all right, Mr. Smart Guy. Who do you think is the funniest man in the group? Maury? <laughs> Who's Maury? 
the Mori, the, the, the toucan. It's, 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 it's funny. Look at him. He, he's got his iconic uh, corncob pipe. And, Unless uh, you actually list one of us, you have to accept the title as funniest man in the group. <laughs> you are the literal clown amongst us. Now put on your complimentary afro and a uh, and, uh, clown nose. Eh, fine. So, uh, here's how this... So this is why this mission is going to be kind of lame for right now. Uh, effectively, how this is going to work is we need to turn all of those three little uh, bridges on. We need to turn all of them on in order to uh, uh, continue and, com and finish unlocking the thing at the bottom. Because somehow, Dennis's researchers swam through a pool of lava and uh, into the next part of the volcano. Well, uh, mind, however, mind you, they probably have the exact same type of type of tech that we're using at the given moment. So, that is which is funny too, because like you can dive into that lava, and it's literally like if you were diving into water, which at, makes absolutely no fucking sense scientifically. But this is a video game, so it's got to be you know got to make got to cut ties somewhere. Well, well again, just I, make I well, again make sure you're. I well, I want to say yeah, oh yeah, I get what you're saying yeah, but again, just make sure you're in this mech. Uh, Ty cannot jump in there pro bono. Of course, it's lava. Right. Um, but otherwise, yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Like, lava... Oops. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. Okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, but, but yeah, no, lava should be thicker and, like, much more, like, difficult to trudge through. Actually, I want to go this yeah, way. Yeah, you might want to go the um, other way. Um, I want to say somewhere around here you can also find one of those... What's the plant type of plant called? They're, like, the, the types that smell like a fucking corpse in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, the ones that, like, launch you straight up into the air. Yeah, you can use those if the oh, event goodness. you need to uh, make an instant leap back up. But I think it's a little wedge deep. There, uh, there oh, it is, You guys should see it over there, yeah. All over there. They did bring... Hello. Welcome back. But, yeah, they did bring those back. Uh, so here comes why I'm not too much of a fan of uh, this mission is uh, this part is pure tedium. Yeah. Dude. Effectively, you need to make a bridge that leads all the way to each of these, uh, each, each of the little, uh, you know, the little thingies. And I mean, for that one right there, that's not too bad, but the other ones, I'd argue, are borderline horseshit. Wait, how do I... Which Where one is, is controlling? It? Oh, it's, uh, that, that one down there. Huh? Oh, never mind. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of them. I, I think it's because, That like, resets them. There you go. Gotcha. Okay, maybe now that'll fix it. So this one controls... Oh, all the way down there. Oh, that's right. And then this one can actually start climbing upwards. In a Told you. Second. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. There it goes. And that's... That's good enough. That's good enough. But yeah, no, I, I just remember not being a big fan of this one because it, it forces you to exhibit patience. Patience and, I mean, not going to miss words, the camera does not help with this section. I because that you, you, this pretty much needs to be its own like Level? sequence where like you can see the whole thing a little more clearly. Right. The, I mean, the arrow can kind of help, but uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come out and say right now, uh, I I will be cutting out some some of the footage of me just going back up to those switches and doing this every single time because there we go. There's one. I gotta do the other two now. So back I back. go. And stop. Okay, so I believe I've made a path that will lead us over to uh, that one. Let's yeah, that lo that looks manageable. And I will. Um, I'll, you know, what? I also realize now why this this one also annoyed me, because if you don't have that uh, that shortcut, uh, if you mess up a jump, uh, you gotta go. You gotta climb. You gotta. You have. You have to go back down there. Hit that yellow button and basically undo all of your progress. Correct. Which is uh, yeah, it's a little annoying. It's a fucking pain! Alright, so let's go over here. Let's turn that guy on. There's the number button of two. And now and for I'm number three. Gonna try a sneaky, cheeky move. Ah! Nope, there's a wall. Dang, they got it. I wonder if it would right, actually have been possible to. Uh, wonder if to it would have been possible all the way to actually nah. get a spray it. Now, e even if, even if I could get the angle right, this thing definitely has a limit to how far it'll go. Like if I if I pull up all the way, like eh. it, 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 it would it would just cut itself off at the top. Dang, this ain't no, this ain't my kind of super soaker. I agree. All right, let's go reset them, and we're back to cut off time again. Oh, oh. <laughs> just had to make sure. I, think I, I got that right. That's good. I think I'm gonna go. Or wait, wait a minute. I, I just got. Hold on, look to your right. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and double check. Oh yeah, I can make that. Okay. Hmm. 
But uh, yeah, I just I got to the part where we're about to start telling Mayumi the bad news about what happened to her son. Oh, in that time, yeah. anyway. You know um, what? Like, even though me and Jordan opt out on recording that with you guys, I probably should like dedicate like an afternoon to get caught up on all the the stuff you guys recorded for that game. I mean, it is uh, a I, I mean, you'd be surprised how much how much like you know. You'd be surprised how much we got, and how much mileage we got with that game. Like some of it actually got us into hysterics. Yeah, no, it's it's a very fun game. But we're just talking about uh, Somnium Files in case anyone was curious. Uh, it's it it was actually a very like I am not. I'll say right now, I am not typically one to do uh, you know visual novel games because you know it's well because I I'm I'm a, I'm a sucker who likes gameplay. Uh, but, I mean, I don't blame uh, you. I am too. But there is, but there is a good amount of a con. Of, there's a there is a good amount of both content, and um. There it is. Nope. There's yeah, a good amount. Also, yes, folks, we are literally swimming in this stuff as if as if it were water. The lava above yeah. may as well be like some sort of like crust. Like a, it's like exactly. A, it's like the kind of foam that builds up on the the film that kind of builds up on top of soup. Oh God! You know what this is? I just realized all of a sudden we're uh, in deep fried water. Oh no. I don't like the sound of that at all. Yeah, I just gotta hurry through here. Uh, and also, I, the other, the other, the other memory I remember of why I hated this level was it was Ooh, so easy oh, for me to get turned. It was so it was so easy for me to get turned around, and uh, as a result of getting turned around, uh, I would forget where the hell I was. There's a part of me that would have loved if, like, the whole thing you were talking about, like, another reason I hate this level is because how easily I get turned around. I would have loved if, right as you were saying that, it would have been like, I, I just hate how I get turned around. Wait, I'm already, I've been here before. Yeah. So actually, now I think about it, it's actually good timing of y'all to give me the frosty ring because we can actually access some optional platforms this way. Well, what do you know? Let's cool these down. What? Yep, because these platforms would otherwise be too hot to touch. Uh, hi, 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 hi. I'm okay. Let me go. Uh oh. That was probably. Oh, oh geez. that was close. Not the smartest move you can make. Cool it off first. Auto target the rock, please. Thank you. But yeah, no, all things are I'd say if you have an if you ever have some time to spare, I'd say give our um Somnium file stuff a look at. Just mm -hmm. uh just be uh just I guess just make sure you're buckled in for a ride, because it is it it is a long one. It's oh, a I long don't... one and it and it's probably not gonna miss words. It's probably one of the some at least not for the there's some bits of it that are probably some of the most gruesome stuff we've ever actually shown on for the channel. I mean I yeah, won't no, put it. It's a murder it, mystery. But... Like, it's pretty much on a, it's on a similar level to, like, the kinds of um, nasty shit you can see in Mortal Kombat. I mean, like, honestly, yeah. like, like, the, like, the whole Link thing, I know it was, like, part ha, of the reason why, optional. ooh, like, I know the whole Link thing was part of the reason why I wasn't, like, too <laughs> enthused with sticking on board with it. Another reason why is that, like, you know, I believe you guys when you said you had fun with it, and you know how much I love seeing those reactions, but another reason why I wasn't too, like, eager to join for more AI and I feel like nerds all over the world will call me sacrilegious for saying this. I sometimes don't get like the type of humor that games like AI usually has. Like it, for the most, like it, there are some like genuinely funny bits here and there, but for the most part, that kind of humor doesn't automatically click with me. I mean, it's pretty much the same. It's more or less the same kind of humor you'd expect out of like, say, I don't know, Ace, like the Ace Attorney series. So, and, yeah, and I know you love that, and I know you love that series to a degree. I guess I'd also argue like. So how about this? Because I'm, I am curious. How would you say that differs from uh, the likes of, say, the uh, like a, a, like a Lucas Arts? Here we go. Here's the secret door. How would you say that differs from, like, say, a Lucas Arts point and click adventure kind of snarky, sassy kind of tone? Well, I think it's less a matter of it has snark and sass, but more so a matter of like what type of snark and sass it has. Fair enough. Ha. Okay. What did I do all this for? Gubu Steve. Gubu Steve. What Aren't you, you melting? Are, are you sure you're not melting in this this uh this microwave? He's well, I can say the oh, same thing also, about oh, you. And also, oh, and also chromium orb over there. Uh, but first, Gubu Steve. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. The Gubu so did what? was what? drunk when I got here. What? Hey, it's you again. Oh, hey. The little orange furry dinosaur thing. Also, like, you say that about like, oh, why aren't you melting here? Couldn't we say the same thing about no us as well, technically? Say. You're not here just because Good you one. want stuff from me. But he was here long. I got news for you. Oh, and I guess I'll say, Gubu Steve here is based on a, one of the developers. Nada. Oh. Uh, not not an appearance He's or design, but I uh, but I know it's a reference to him. And nice. Right. It's a, it's a reference to the art the art the main artist behind these uh, games. Oh really? Oh, that's cool. Well, who's, who's, who I know on DeviantArt his uh, his a uh, moniker his a uh, 
moniker. He went by uh, Space Captain Steve. I don't <laughs> know if he has a Twitter or not, but I mean, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I mean, I... Would make sense. There we go. Sorry. So that was just a little optional, uh, uh, a little, a little optional uh, divergent thing I decided to do just to get that out of the way. Let's uh, let's head back. Um, uh, get oh, back, oh. get back home with our quest. Uh, the little handling on this is a little. It, it's not bad unless you pick up a lot of steam like that, like what I'm trying to do. Now. Yeah, to especially when dealing with these lava, these lava eels. So yeah, there we go. Fine. Right. So now all, all we have left of this mission, it, it's pretty, it's pretty much a cakewalk from here. Now we just have Woo. to deal with the little onslaught of enemies that way. Which, I mean, as you've seen me in this mech before, you pretty much don't got to worry about uh, any enemies when you're in a bun yet. Even those. Uh, super powered Uber. They're, they're a different type of. They're a different type of Uber frill, but they are still Uber frills nonetheless. Yep. Oh, once Uber again. Frills. Once again, just keep punching them with uh, your water. Remember, pressurized water. That shit's gonna hurt. Yeah. Yep. And I will absolutely appreciate the amount of. Uh, oh, you got freaking Godzilla breath. Oh, oh, the atomic breath. On the way, we can't say atomic because apparently that's like. That's something that I apparently found out when it came to, like, Godzilla used in other things. Like, apparently, uh, Toho... Uh, uh, Toho are the people that own Godzilla, right? Yep, Toho. Yes. Yep. Apparently, they have, like, this list of regulations for, like, other companies when they're allowed to, like, use Godzilla in various things. And, like, they have, like, a bunch of things that are, like, you know, big no-nos. And apparently, one of them is, like, they can't use Atomic to describe any of his powers. Because he's technically not, a, what, he's technically not Atomic. Um, yeah. And there's also, like, a bunch of other ones that just kind of seem weird to me. Like, apparently one of them is he can't jump. What? Yeah, because like, I think it's just a matter of, like, they, they think it's, like... I don't know, like, the, the entire, like, reasoning behind it, but it's it's just one of those things that kind of stuck out to me. That and the fact that, like, apparently he's not allowed to have, like, any external weapons. I mean, that makes sense, considering why would he need weapons when he is a weapon. Yeah, <gasps> hey, you. Into the oh my god! I just freaking like golemed him into the lava below. <laughs> gosh, did you do the fire? No. There you go. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, speaking of finally... which, uh, Logan was gracious enough to uh, show us uh, show us the rest of um, Smiling Friends that aired. Yep. Ah, that, oh, was did fun, you guys... that was a fun little ride. Oh, were you guys able to watch the going to Brazil special? Yes. Yeah, we did. Which uh, effectively was just ten minutes of just them having a co just something about it. just something about this just the two of them having a nice conversation was really funny to me. All right, so now, now uh, that we we're do done with all that. So, so now we do have a quest that requires us to he go back to Buramudgee. But so before I do that, I'm gonna do some more quests that are out here. All right, yeah, the uh, Actually, one that, the one that requires you to go back to Buramudgee, I believe, involves uh, the the uh, the uh, thing I was talking about earlier. And I believe the problem with that one is the minute we talk to that one, it starts a timer where we need to start running around like lickety split. It's like it's like honestly dash. not too, it's honestly not too bad, but yes, you are you do need to uh, race it against the clock. Yeah, no, if that's the case, I'm just gonna. Oh, oh boy! Oh, 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 oh shivers me aching fuck. Actually, you're you're aren't, aren't, actually aren't you already close by to the or is that star leading to somewhere else? Uh, no, no, no. This, this is a different one. The, the, the orange star that I'm run, driving away from is, is uh, where that. This one is uh, Dennis Freeway. Oh boy. So this one's oh, kind of this another... one's kind of fun, but the but the but the idea behind it is kind of fucking silly. Yep. And uh, we're going to and also very in character for, for also very in character for a uh, semi egotist like uh, Dennis. Yeah, that's about that seems about right. Uh, we'll say uh, now that I do that. All right, and then, and then and again, I'll carry the conversation up after this cutscene. So, hey, what's up, Dennis? Dennis? I made it as soon as I could. What's the problem? What's the emergency? Oh, it's just terrible, Ty. Yeah? Terrible. What is it? Huh? Who needs saving? My freeway is in trouble. Is Cass responsible? Did he blow it up? No, no, no. I was building the Dennis Memorial Freeway when the workers walked out. Don't you have to be dead to have a memorial, memorial or anything? Freeway. They were you have to be dead to have a memorial freeway made after you. I told well, don't them tell the workers that. Oh, uh, he's one trip. of he's one of those types of nitpickers. Do. You don't need feng shui in a non-memorial. Yeah. It's simply terrible. 
the freeway is so it's, you, 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 You're worried about the feng shui of a freeway. You I can't even have build in your honor yet. Extra pieces put in place. Yeah, no, effectively, you, it's just... Go ahead. Not only that, but the place where we have to help them finish it is in a very remote location. Yep. Effectively, it's just the copter again. Uh, and, and this part's really simple. Just uh, find the uh, find find the puzzle pieces and uh, put them into place. So now that we're just onto this more or less remedial, uh, and, and then even tell and the, the little house icon will outright tell you where they need to go. So that's done. Andy, which helps. Um, so anyway, so while I'm doing this ultimately kind of remedial uh, mission, uh, I will say. How about this? Of the shows that got deleted by HBO because they're dumb, uh, to d d d is there are there any are there any sh uh, wh which of those shows did any of you guys have the most like interest in watching? Like, Mau Mau. Because I do want to watch that with you at some point. Hype. I've never watched Mau Mau. I've seen clips and a bunch of my friends have gushed about it to heaven and back, and I really want to see it for myself. Okay, I mean, well, truth be told, I'm kind of on the same boat because, like, I'll, I'd be lying if I said I was, like, super, super eager to start watching, like, the most recent type of Cartoon network s shows, but I guess if I had to pick one of them, it probably would be Mau Mau. Especially, um, because, especially for a handful of scenes I've seen that, you know, as a, as a former, com as, a, as a commission artist myself, I could definitely How will you pay that. me? What? <laughs> Exposure! <laughs> I do that. I do know one that Jordan was really getting into that I was watching with her now and then is uh, Vincent and Valentino. Victor and Valentino, but yes, oh that God. one. So basically, it's about these two boys. They ran into like some kind of supernatural talisman, and now uh -huh. they are like facing against all these monsters that are actually from Spanish folklore. Like El Sabon, mm -hmm. La Llorona, Chupacabras, oh, cool. and stuff. And I thought that was really interesting. And at one point, they did a crossover episode with Villainous, and that's what drew me to it the most. Oh, I'm not surprised Villainous was the first thing that got you hooked on this show. Can I say, wait, so being honest with me, would you say Victor Val would you say Victor and Valentino? Shut up, Maury, don't wait. Um, so, so I guess hear me out here then. Let them burn. Yes. So I guess hearing me out here in this story, would you then say that Victor Valentino is Latin America Gravity Falls? I think so, yeah. I, I think you would call it that. Man, now that oh. kind of one makes me see a crossover between the two shows if it wasn't for the fact that they were on opposing networks. Yeah, I yeah. know, right? right and, so you next. know, the, the most recent the most recent recent attempt we've seen of a Roger Rabbit-like movie was kind of crap. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, crap. And, uh, and very and quickly forgotten. Yeah, no, no, I haven't seen anyone bring it up. And uh, the only, A the last time I'll say right now, I'll say right now. Oh, that's because we're getting close to our next big uh, mission over here, which involves crocodiles. Whoa. Oh, I'm is sure. This the one I'm sure. Is this the one we're helping Ranger Ken now with the um, crocodiles. Yeah, we gotta use the helicopter again. This one I admittedly do like, just for the very imagery of when you actually do capture one, and uh, you know this, and uh, Ranger Ken has to tag him. It's true. It. It's a good thing you're here, mate. Yep. You need a hand taking these crocs. You need to go. You still need acting good lessons, one, buddy. Mate. We'll be using a boat and a chopper. What yeah, when you put it like that, wow, I, I really can't hear it like. Crocs. What do you mean? You I'm a classically trained actor in numerous emotions. Sorry, whoever voiced this just. No hopefully, you did better in Tie 3. I am curious as to like. I am curious as to, like, because I know, like, a bunch of the voice actors, like, swapped over in this game. I wonder if the voice director changed between games. Oh. It's very, know, it's, it's possible. That's the other thing I remember about this. If you listen closely, uh, the music for this entire stage is an outback, instrumentalized version of Flight of the Valkyries. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Anyway. Uh, hang on. I almost got, you gotta catch him, Ranger Ken. There you go. And got oh. him. And then, the tag machine and there you go. Just freaking like back suplexes it into the water, Actually, and that's effectively like, it. If it, uh, if we were like trying to pull them out of the water to get to him, why? And he drew him back in. What was the point of us getting him? Oh out no of the no water no! He, he said he needed to tag him. Oh, okay, it, it, my bad. It, it's a uh, it's environmentalist stuff where you where you where you tag them so that you can then uh, you know make sure that they're living in the wild and track their migration routes. But uh, yeah, no, I I I wonder how much of Crocodile Hunter I would have watched if this is how he handled all of them, just with a massive swing and away and drop pile. Yeah. Them. Anywho, I'll get some fuel uh, after this one. But uh, uh, yeah, so Victor yeah, Valentino, yeah, I need to watch. I I knew I know I want to watch Mal Mal. I 
I've been hearing many good things about Infinity Train. I want to watch oh it. My I've God. seen the. I love the first season. I have not seen anything after that. I haven't either. We meant to, but this was back when she was a part of our. Sorry, I hit the gator in the head. Well, I mean, well, there's I know, nothing. Oh, I know. If we're given the opportunity, then you know Matt's gonna literally hound us to literally have him join us, considering he's Which, probably the biggest fan of that show. He's probably gonna do that with Mau Mau, just as a heads up. Oh, no, uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised at that either. <laughs> just kind of dropping catch. Anyway, uh, but I guess. Well, that's the other thing is that. Um, so I say all this because. Hanna Barbera. I have no idea how well dated this is going to be. I hope it'll last for a little while. Uh, that that one Twitter, Hanna Barbera's screen caps, did say that they are currently hosting all of the all of the content that was removed from HBO Max recently. Because uh, I don't know what the official like period of time that needs to pass is, but it, it, it's effectively considered lost media at this point. And what's, yeah. And what's good about that is that like even if someone does try to take action and take it down, odds are some one or some of the people that already downloaded it, they could just re-upload on their end, yep. and then the cycle will continue. I mean, oh, no, perfect. I, I, I'm the, happy with that. I mean, it's also it's pretty much just the matter that if they are literally doing all this for the sake of literally, literally as a tax write-off, then that that means they pretty much relinquish all rights to it. Thereby, they can just be pirated without any sort of hassle. And if well, they yeah, do try like, to take any, and if they do try to take any action, it just solidifies the fact that they are very double damn petty. Yep. No, no. But but yeah. So ultimately, one of two things will happen. One, uh, they can't do Jack because they because they can't prove to the courts they're going to do anything else with it, like James said, and like with what Hype said. Uh, from this point forward, thank God they will now live forever on the internet. Which again, as Matt has told us, and I agree, is that unfortunately it means that that the people who lose the most we are the creators it. themselves. We and I feel for them because the they're fun projects. Oh, you're a mm -hmm. yeah. bloke. Thank the you. Woolly Woolly Oil Riggers still haven't gotten their lunch yet. Mate. Oh my gosh, go they can wait five more minutes. And deliver it but you don't understand, the pastrami will go bad. Oh no, that is not, actually, that you're right, that's bad. We should help them out right now. <laughs> hurry, I, I, I was not aware. I, did, I was not aware of the consequences. Let's hurry. I mean, um, yeah, actually, let, let's check our order list of missions real quick and see what we got. So all we have left is Ripper Nipper, which is delivering a supply of zinc cream to the Pippi Beach Nippers, uh, which that's another race. Basically, you just go from the blue star all the way to the beach. Yeah, I could probably do that. And then we just have, yeah, okay, we'll do the beach. We'll just do the beach one because that's closest real quick over here. And mm -hmm. then uh, and then we'll just finish off with a uh, door dash and really, Whoa. I can't drive. Okay, backing up. Thank you. Uh, I don't think yeah, they no, have licenses in Australia. But yeah, now that I know that we're now I know that a good number of us are. Looking forward to try it on Mau Mau. I'll see if I can get a copy of that show so I can. I mean, it. It, isn't it? It, 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 isn't it that one, all. Go ahead. I was just saying, like, I'm pretty sure that's one of the shows that that uh, Hannah Barbera Twitter has on their Google Drive. Right, you are. So I'll be downloading that after this. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, it, all, it had all of one season. And I think it was either Matt or Hype is saying that it was very sad because uh, Roblox, because uh, it also had a season two confirmed. It, it was like going to be ready, yeah. and yeah. it, but then. Yeah, also, like it was... a load of that. Look at the size of that sunscreen. Yeah. Wow. It's That's like, the like... kind that Jordy needs. Ha! <laughs> it's the size and of he... me. Well, did... actually, it's more the size of her. Fair. Yep. Speaking it's good old Ellie again. Hey there, Ellie. Make it, doll. Rex left good to see you again. Carnival, but he forgot to take the zinc cream with him. Every time. Sometimes I reckon he'd forget his head if it wasn't attached to his shoulders. And didn't have Thanks to be freaking honk and beak Bill on take it. it down to South Honey, Beach I got too. my head again. Well, hurry. The first event. <laughs> How could you lose it? It's hard to miss. So there we go. I now don't we're on know. So, uh, don't be like me and forget how to use your mini-map, because you'll get lost and turn around like I did. We just, it's very simple. We just gotta get to that blue star, and then run out into the beach. Because that's the other yeah. thing. Uh, do note, uh, in, a in a number of cases with these uh, races, they're not just expecting you to get to, you know, the parking spot. You still gotta run on the overworld out to where it is. It's a, it's a whole little map thing. kind of. Thing on the bright side, that. like, they're giving you, like, way more time than you really need. Yeah. yeah. Like, here, like, we're already here. Welcome to the beach. Now we just got here, run. and uh, Rick should be. Uh, he's he's to your left. Oh, here you are. Done. Oh, die. With four and a half you minutes just to spare. Time. You're a dead set legend. Ah, oh, the kids can get all I nice and ready for the beach. Oh. Ty, and that's it. Oil ring is what? Under attack. There's our boss. Our boss for the session. You do something about it. This is uh, that's nice and all, but pastrami. I was about to. You stole my joke, saying, but the pastrami. <laughs> I will do that first, why not? 
Even though, yes, it is technically optional. I think. No, no, because there's still no, no, no. The oil rig, fi oil rig fire is uh, mandatory, I believe. It is mandatory, but I also believe that's not our boss yet. Oh, it's actually yeah, and I just remember now it's not. The uh, boss should come after it though. Which I guess while we're here, and it does, yeah, okay, we'll do it while it goes right here. Okay, the worker, the workers can wait. Where's the pastrami? As they like just cry out to the heavens. Where's our lunch meat? We need fresh meat for our port. Food. What? I just want to know. What, what's a common delicacy in Australia? Uh, Vegemite. Vegemite. Not yeah, Vegemite. Alright, here we go. I was surprised, like. Oh my gosh, it's a full on attack. Oh boy. This is what happens when you don't get them their pastrami. They go to war. <laughs> it's not even the frills, it's just. This is, they have the most extreme protesting riots you've ever seen. Jeez. And this is and just yeah. a picket line. And all, all this could have oh. been avoided if, you know, Pete didn't steal all the coins from the well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and I guess if you're ever curious, if you ever wonder what these things are. I don't know what the hell it, the, the, the thing inside of it is, but effectively these are just, they form a force field that prevents you from taking the bunyip mechs out of the levels. Uh -huh. uh, okay, that makes sense. So, onwards! Woohoo! Be careful! For freedom! And veg! Bonsai! And lunch is everywhere! Also, I was just gonna say, like, I know Logan was about to before he got interrupted, but I love that, like, almost no one else cons the fact that I suggested that Australians ate dodos. Dodos! Well, I, I, well, I heard oh, and I was no. like, what are you talking about? They don't, they don't got those anymore. Yeah, dodos are extinct. Don't make it worse. Well, do you know why they're extinct? Because they ate them all. That's were dodos not native why? Were dodos native to Australia? I thought they were also in Canada. Hold I'm on, sure they were everywhere. everywhere. And they made us dodos, the extinct flightless bird of Canada. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna cut through as fast as I can. No, they were in uh, Madagascar. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Interesting. Alright, so I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm gonna kind of speed run through this a little bit more. It's not as long as Mount Boom, thank goodness. I, now that I think about it, yeah, like, wow, I really did, like, two to three missions in the time that it took me to do one Mount Boom mission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, Steve, show, yeah. I think you were mistaking dodos for emus. Emus are the ones that are in Australian. Oh. But they're not well, you know what? No, they're no, not. They're not extinct. Well, you know what? That's good. And it's especially good for the emus, because that means more meat for them. <laughs> you actually can buy emu meat. Can you think of anything other than having you can buy kangaroo meat? You can buy, you can buy kangaroo meat. <laughs> Logan! Can you, buy, can you buy cassowary meat? Okay, that's uh, enough. I mean, I, I mean they, are the, they are the natural assholes of Australia. I'm getting off this call. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, come on, Jordy. Something tells me she's a birdie lover. Welcome back. Something tells me you have no sense of humor. You have no sense of humor. You cruel, cruel man. Sorry, I had to put in some stuffed peppers into the oven. Ah, well, there's a good good with the pastrami and emu. <laughs> yes, yes. Is pastrami an Australian uh, delicacy? I don't, I don't know. It was just the first. Think so. It was I, just I, the I first meat that came to mind. Which is fair, but yeah, I see more like an Italian dish because it's, it's like, it's like seasoned like spiced meat or something like that. Ah, okay. put a lid in it, yes, Godzilla it wanna it be. Actually, originated from Romania. Oh, oh. Well, there you go. That little well, guy trying to chase me. Get him! Ow! Oh, holy crap! He just punched me. <laughs> that guy has balls. I gotta give him credit for punching a mech. It was every. It, it was literally. It was either that, or he gets gets the. Uh, he gets the freaking flood treatment. There we go. Oh, yeah. right. He got. He ended up with the flood treatment. That's how he has. That's how it has to be. Uh, I guess I got a few more ripples. I got some. Oh. I'm actually doing pretty good. Like yeah, th this is a, probably one of the big reasons why you want to find Gubu Steve and uh, again more of these missions because you get a lot of uh, opals for your trouble. Mhm. Mm All right. One. Three, four. Oh, I was about oh, to start going. Oh. Four, five. Just Al, what are you doing? Just Al, stop. You stumbled like, at four. Let's stop. Al, stop it. I only asked for. Man, that that is just that owl is just evil. Why is he evil? He stole that kid's the... candy and he, and they ate in front of him. Oh my gosh, you're right. He did. Why did I? 
You never thought about that? I always he thought I, he ate the, he ate it in front of the kid. The kid, therefore, he stole. Yeah. I, I mean, I suppose. Yeah. Like I I guess all this time I thought he was just being an asshole. Like, oh, I can't count. But why did you do? Oh, no. there's the enemy. What do I? What the hell do I do? Oh, it's up. just the timer. Ah, Oops. Ow. Your time wow. is up. Okay, now I charge forward. Ooh. Invisibility frame, invincibility frame. Ow. Oh sorry, I'm panicking. sorry, Ty. The bunya builder's grace and uh, uh, mercy is not that kind. No. Nope. Ow. I can't we I can't we, we never see him again after that first game when there was all this whole thing of like you are you are prophesized for much greatness. Now he's just like on vacation. He's like I don't know. Get, get, get the well, police. I mean, he was get a, the police to take care of it. Well, I mean, he was a spirit. I assume he probably just passed on to the afterlife. He was already a spirit. Like that was his afterlife. Was helping me. He's like no. Okay. Well, let me rephrase. Like after he finished helping you, he finally like went back to like whatever afterlife he was originally in. My job here is done. But you didn't do anything. This is I a suspicious you. amount. Of, this is a suspicious amount of koalas. It's like, but you didn't do anything. I was the one that told you about false cast, wasn't oh. I? That is true. Yeah, Nikum. Actually, yeah, no, yeah. We, I guess that was the big like thing was we had no idea about our story and, and like you know history without his help. So and yeah, I guess go. he was the catalyst. So there's that. Whoa, oh boy. Okay. Hello. Lasers. Yeah, just, it's easy though. Just get behind them, and they have no way of aiming back here. Oh, oh god, they have a way of waving back here. Defenses. Okay, let's just hurry. Let's just hurry. Avoid the freaking ninja geckos. Which, oh by the way, which by the way, holy crap, that is still probably I would say easily one of. And I will bring it up back when we do Gex Three, but I will say that is probably one of Flippin' Ding Dong's like greatest animations ever. Is his? Oh, absolutely. Is his simulation of a oh, Gex yeah, as if it was the, on Toon Disney. One. Although he wouldn't have said, "I'm hungry, damn it," on on Toon Disney, but it. It worked, and I actually did. I actually did not mind the cartoonified I mean, design of Agent Extra. <laughs> when they say good. drab, they mean drab. Drab. I mean, they got away with some minor profanities back in those days, but it was very few and far between. Uncle, Uncle Wallace, I thought I told you to get off the sauce. <laughs> I can't talk to you when you're like you're this. Like this. <laughs> that was good. Just. I was really impressed just, with how they handled the res in that cartoon form. I mean, they just made, I mean, they just basically made him look like... <gasps> oh, boy. Well, I also yeah, mean, okay. like, the, just the a, way they handled, like, the, the eyes during that whole laughing bit. Oh, right, right, right. And I'm assuming all that, and I'm assuming all that dialogue, including Agent Extra, was all just archived audio? Yeah. Okay. Like, I, I think it was a combination of lines he had in all three games. It is. Yeah, makes sense. The yeah, same goes with Rez, yeah. too. And I think I've already asked this, and I for, and I apologize if I completely forgot. But uh, is this actor still around, Gex? Uh, yeah. In adult, I think he is. Yeah, okay. I I think you were the one that found that out for us. Oh, you know, I probably was. That that sounds like a me thing I do. Like apparently he was on Mighty Magisaurs at one point. So. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm not doing the, I'm not doing this puzzle where I jump on these things and potentially throw away all my progress. Just uh. Just hit the button. I forget if we all talked right. about. It. Is that would that be another show we should look into? I'll uh, tell you answer? right. Eh. I'll I'll tell you right now. One of the, one of my biggest complaints about it. Whoop! I think I I think I hit the button. I appreciate it. Otherwise, they might expect you to actually. Oh wait, maybe you gotta spray. Maybe, can you even? Oh, there it is. No. You gotta, you yeah. gotta, you gotta spray that um one um blue light. Oh, I thought I did. Oh no, you're right. I, the light's not uh. Let me double check because you're right. I think I, I think I did forget this one. Yeah, right here. Good call. Good there call. There you line. go. Out we go. But uh, no, but the biggest complaint I can say about Magic Swords is, I don't know if it's just me if I'm just old, but it is a very fast-paced show. It it, it like it, whatever people made fun of Felix the Cat for initially, I'd say Magic Swords. It doesn't talk just for the sake of hearing its own voice, but it definitely will like. Offer very minimal uh, gaps between dialogue. You know what I'm thinking of? It reminds me, and I saw a clip of it. I, I, you probably see it more than I do, James. So feel free to correct me. But it reminds me of a clip I saw of like the very old original Popeye bits, where 
I, I think it's because, like, the actors didn't have, like, a full script, so they pretty much had to, like, go off the animation, where there'd be, like, just continuous amounts of talking from all the actors as the action's just going on. Like, you know, Popeye, like, doing, like, his random muttering to himself as he's, like, looking at something. Hmm. Right. All right, there we go. Uh -oh. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I guess it could be kind of like that. Uh-oh. Well, that's how we get out, is we need, we need to jump up and get out that exit door, so off we go. But, uh... Yeah, no, it it, def it, 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 and I mean, nothing feels like it's mumbled, like, the animation is absolutely put on, it, it is absolutely paced to have someone talking, just, yeah, it's just, it, it, how about this, like, wa like, watch a couple clips on YouTube, but, like, if I found you, like, a clip of dialogue, you would realize, like, wow, yeah, no, this, this goes, like, I, I almost have to rewatch the last 40 seconds to figure out what was said. Okay, so I guess it's just a matter of, like, it's not, like, a matter that they talk too, they talk too much, they just talk too fast. I, yeah, I would say that. Just, again, very little gaps in the uh, dialogue to allow, you know, you to, like, process what had just been said kind of thing. I feel like there's another show that has that same issue. What I'm the just hell? Oh, hello. hello. They, my little orange oh, I think I we are actually at the uh, boss. Uh oh, whole, you're right. They it's just, it was just yes. a very long pathway to said boss. Say go, well, Buster. What I came for. <gasps> Time to move on. Not without a fight. I was thinking the same thing. Buster, take care. Uh oh. Let me. Oh. Ta ta ta. So with boss that. Cass is gonna love this. <laughs> so yeah, with that, uh, welcome to Buster. Uh, one of the more time sensitive bosses, but uh, nonetheless a rather interesting. Uh, foe for a tie that has many a tiger game. Yeah. Like, you're literally dealing... It, honestly, it's pretty much Ty's answer to the Yellow Devil. Pretty much. Oh, boy. So here's how this works. Uh, ow. First dodge shockwaves, because he hits like a truck. I'm sorry. The moment I was reading his, uh, his boss header, I almost misread that as, uh, Buster the Nanobot bot, as opposed to Nanobot boss. <laughs> the bot's me, bot. I, me, I was... Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, I was just reaffirming his joke. Me, I was thinking of, uh... Me, I was thinking of, a uh, What, Struth, what's that? Nano machines, son. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what we're dealing with here. So here's how this works. Uh, you, you, you cannot damage the nanobots by themselves. You need to wait for it to form up as Buster, and then you can uh, attack the little core thingy in its center only when it's roaring and, like... Oh, only when it's roaring, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Shockwave. Only when it's roaring Ouch. and its mouth is open. I'm, 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 I'm stuck. I'm oh, stuck. Boy. Oh, oh, boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Buster. Buster. Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're stuck. I'm okay. Oh, oh. oh. I'm okay hey, now. Oh. Woo. Well, that, well, that was very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look for a, a picking basket. Picking basket. There's one there. right there. Yeah. But watch out for the other pick nanobots. Picking it. Oh, I think they can't. I think pick they can't hurt you while they're scattering. Whoa. Oh, and boy. it also can and also can form a little hammer thingy. So uh, just just constantly be on the move and use the uh, the floating stuff to your advantage, and then uh, wait for it to form up as Buster again. But uh, beyond that, uh, as you can see, the boss is kind of just uh, beyond that. After he forms up, just wait for him to do some of his attacks and uh, keep going. Uh, I would recommend staying close so that he doesn't do the jump attack. Uh, and then of course you got to do this. Oh come on, form back oh, he's up. Split for oh okay. Yeah, Pull yourself back together. While I'm, while I'm taking care of this, since this is kind of a nothing boss fight beyond that, uh, James, were there any other shows that uh, was lost that you were kind of curious about? Uh, not yet. I mean, once they, once they do give that same treatment to Jellystone, then I'll have an answer. <laughs> yeah, and Looney Tunes show. I really am curious. That's right, because we can also say that like they've canceled the Looney Tunes movie. Uh, that, that's actually a misdemeanor. It's not cancelled, they're just trying to move it to a different streaming service. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Which, which, uh, assuming they aren't, they aren't, they aren't able to find one, may as well mean cancelled. I know, but it, it's not outright cancelled. Like, they're still working on it. Like, I remember, because, like, the same thing's happening to that the new Batman animated show coming out. Like, the, some of the staff did mention that, like, it's not cancelled, we're still working on it. We're just needing to find, like, a different, uh, service to pick us up. Which, you know, good fucking luck. You might want to go grab another picnic basket while you're out here. I can still survive a little longer. Let's go. 
So I need my nourishment, boo boo. Well, there was there was one there was one over there. I think they still I think or what's they respawn because I know there's that one. I, there. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they respawn. Oh. oh boy. I mean, better 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 to look around anyway while this thing's constantly on the move. Yep. Just uh, there's this guy. There's that picnic basket there. Uh, I don't see any behind these uh, houses. Maybe there's maybe there's only one. Oh, here's one. Oh, there's an, there's another one. Okay, so I'll hold off on that because we're still doing pre okay so far. Here comes Buster again. So yeah, I guess. Because I'll admit, this whole time when I was doing all this, I could have sworn the way it worked was you had to do all the missions and then the boss battle would appear. But I guess he just, I guess after you do a certain amount of missions, that that's just that's all it needs. I mean, that's pretty much the open endedness of this whole game. Because otherwise, I mean, once you beat the game, you likely still have a couple missions you can still do, assuming you haven't been like combing through them with a fine tooth, fine tooth brush. Then yeah, considering I'm considering. Oh, uh -oh. okay. Now I need to pick the basket. Oh my god. Now you need Ow. the yeah, help. Yeah, you definitely need it. <laughs> Eat. Thank you. We're good. Right, just Eat like your that. Your own right, head. Right. Alright, there we go. But yeah, no. As soon as I um, yeah, because I have my own dinner waiting on me. Uh, the uh, oh, the uh, ow. Uh, the, the the workers will have to wait on their pastrami another time. High by them. Yeah, they'll have to wait. They'll have to wait another couple of days. Hey, so you, you, you don't have to. Week. You don't have to apologize to me, Logan. You have to apologize to the workers. Oh, and I and I feel bad about that because I like the workers. Right, one more hit will do it. Yeah, that is one. That is something I really think is to this boss's detriment. He has way too much fucking health. Yeah, well, it's, honestly, it's, it's it's a mixture of that plus. It's the thing that we all dislike about bosses when their actual vulnerability stage is there's a long gap of waiting in between whenever they're vulnerable. I mean, I you don't mind I... that too much so long as you scale the health and scale the boss's health accordingly. You know what right. I think would probably make this boss a bit more bearable? If you still have that gimmick of like, oh, you have to hit him in the core to separate all the nanobots, but give you the opportunity to take out the nanobots while they're scaring about. You know, kind of not entirely dissimilar to the uh, Bulasis fight from the first Luigi's Mansion. Oh, I wouldn't mind yeah, that, that because would help. then it would at least give me the... I wouldn't mind that because then it would give me the chance to maybe lower his defenses and allow me to attack him even more frequently. But with that, Buster is no more, and the nanobots will, uh, whoop, oh boy, strike back? I thought I, I killed the, you. I, I guess the uh, machine still has a little bit of juice left. No, you don't. Wait, I'm sucking up into it. And whoa! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, then. it imploded. Uh, and it's sinking into the water. And it okay. does a thumbs up as it sinks. Maybe she found it. The thing she stole. What did it look like? Well, it looked like a light bulb. But bright green. With, but also, with it also like had the cricket ball, ball lines. A tennis ball, ball, like, yeah. Oh, dear. What? That could be my bio-organic micro -scanalyzer. You made What's it look that? like a tennis ball? It's a machine that creates a holographic resonant image of the deoxyribonucleic constituent of any tissue sample. In English, my... Uh, be more specific. Thank you. <laughs> it maps out your genetic structure. To copy over. It shows what you're made of. Using pretty pictures. Uh, <laughs> why would Cass want that? I don't know. You After didn't answer my question. Why does it look like a tennis ball? A grid processor? Oh, but they did my. get a grid processor. What's wrong, Julius? Yeah. I remember reading about a break-in at Karawong University last month. And the only that would explain that. Was a grid so now processor. Dr. Carlos is up to something. Dollar fluffy stolen. Boss Cass is up to something. That was it, really something quick. That was the other thing I remembered was I felt like I felt like Shaz's model that they used for this movie, movie this game, game. Yeah. took a bit of a hit in the facial animation department. Well, I mean, her her design's also very not ter terribly three D friendly. Hmm. Meanwhile, Cassopolis. I mean, like you can argue that like a lot of the models aren't. Like, I think Cass is one of the few that actually works in both 2D and 3D. Yeah, and I mean, time, depending on where you look at him, I'd say he's still fine. It's mostly... <laughs> Let us begin the test. Yes, well, here we go. All right, so, so uh, here comes their master plan, which it's kind of messed up. The scanalyzer will extract the genetic again, information. So they're gonna from actually the oh. take. So they're gonna take the mammal features and apply them to a frill. frill oh, he's shrinking. Meanwhile, the 
He's growing. Oh boy. Whoa. Feels kind of weird considering we've already seen these type of uh, frills. Earlier. Right. Again, this would make more sense to see the uber frills now, but. Yeah, this is how they've been creating them, is taking mammal DNA and, and inserting it into frills. How exactly he turns them into hulking abominations like that when you, course, like, got from a koala, success. I'm not sure. I'll call him Uber Frill. Mm, he has all the best qualities of a reptile and a mammal. Excellent! Now I can create an unstoppable army! I'm a genius. Hmm. There are side effects, for the mammal that is. So cold. Uh huh. Yeah, he's cold blooded now. That's not a side <laughs> effect, that's a feature. It will make a great <laughs> bullet point on the side of the box. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, never change cast, you piece of shit, you. The only thing we're lacking now is a large supply of unsuspecting mammals. <laughs> I don't think this game ever explains why this guy's evil either. I mean, Cass, obviously, he, that's pretty much just his MO, but this old looking koala guy. Yeah, me. Burn him. That place. It's, 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 it's a town. Those lovable Hollywood stars, Beryl and Squeaver, are in trouble again. Really? Only this time it's for real. Looks like you're Cassie's sure wounds have dressed up as film extras and are trying to destroy Yeah, the I don't film know if I believe that. Stop him. Stop. <laughs> I just love so, <laughs> stop him and don't let another motherfucker get alive. It's like, oh, okay, Maury, just kind of up the amp a little bit there. You don't also, understand. You do oh. Oh, no, that, that's just a talk. Ah, uh, okay. Hello. All right, good to know that there's Hello. two of them. I'm doing good. All right, so uh, with that said, uh, that'll probably kind of be it for this session of Tide 2. We finished another act, so there's only actually really two two acts left. We're oh, yeah, we're technically at the halfway point now. Yep. So, with that said, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go buy uh, one of the uh, missions. Let me double check which one I need. So, I need the Frosty Ring for that, which, thank goodness we bought that. Actually, uh, I think we're covered. Well, I'm going to buy one of those bunnies because I know I'm going to need it eventually. That's fair. I am loaded with, with uh, opals at the moment. <laughs> some of which are just leaving on the floor. Yeah. For some other rascallion to take. Thanks. It sounds about right. So, All right, Bob. Yeah, what do you got? To, what do you got on offer? Welcome let's see. Back. Uh, Just feeder bobs. I can actually buy both of them. So Honestly, yeah, I'd say I'd say go ahead and get them both. Bye yeah. bye. And then with that done, now that I don't have to worry about vehicles anymore. So at this point, I really don't got to go to him for anything else unless I. Good eyes. Well, there are, there's extra health tips in case you want them. I believe I want to save up for a lasher ring next. That um, would probably be helpful. Yes. Because the others oh, are pretty awesome. much just your typical elemental stuff. Right. And so far, we're only needing the frost ring, so we'll see. B beyond that, if I keep doing the missions, I'm sure I'll get, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep raking in that dough, so with any also, case... Also, obviously, to keep an, in, an eye out for uh, that weirdo, uh, what's his name again? Steve? Boo Boo Steve. But, uh, yeah. Beyond that, uh, anyone else have anything else to, to end off with, or are we all good? I'm good, I'm honestly. Good. Jinx. Hey! Right, sounds... <laughs> That sounds about right to me. All right, so uh, thank you all so much for watching this little session of Tie 2. We will be getting right back into it next time, and hopefully uh, with less problems. L l these, these missions, I remember, not being as bit of a bummer. So uh, actually, and I guess since it is right here, next time we're going to go door dashing. <laughs> yeah. Till next time, you little rippers. Knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood. Pastrami.